Hello everybody, welcome back. In this episode, we are going to start fresh. So in the previous episode, we talked about how to delete different activities and do all this different stuff. But now I just I just wanna start a new project. I wanna talk about something new. So to do this, you go to File, New Project. And what I wanna do is I want to show you guys that we can actually very easily create a, a tabbed system by using this bottom navigation activity. So if you're looking for a way to basically scaffold out an application without having to do a whole lot or generate an application, you can do that this way just by clicking one of these, these different options. So we'll click next. And we'll give this a name, call it YouTube. And we're gonna use Java. And now for the API, you can choose a, a newer API if you want some of the, the new the newer stuff. Uh, but I would say API 19 is fine. That's gonna cover 95% of devices. And we're not gonna be using too, too much of the, the new API stuff. So for now, we'll go with 19, but you might want to go with a higher version. So that's up to you. So then we'll click Finish. And you can just say goodbye to our old application. Yay. That's the easiest way to clean up a project is just get rid of it. All right. So now we got this new application. And what I want to do is, well, first let's open the, the project. And we'll go into the app, into the source, and then to the main, and then the Java. Oh, man. There's so, come on. Really? Why are you doing this to me? All right. Go into, that's better. All right. So we'll go into Java, and then the main activity, which opened automatically my computer's just so slow that it just uh, took a couple of patient minutes there alright so this is the XML and we're in the text so we can go to the design tab here to see what it looks like and it's looking pretty good you can see we have a home a dashboard and notifications so we already built out this really cool application we didn't even have to do anything and you'll notice a ton of the apps on the App Store have this similar style they'll just have some buttons at the bottom I'm guessing a lot of the developers are are just setting up this default app charging tons of money for quote custom apps and then they just change a couple things and boom they have a new application but in reality they're just using one of the the default options so uh, let's run this thing and just see if it uh, if it looks anything like this if it looks pretty good we can also look in here and see how it scales uh, by dragging this here and it seems to be very dynamic um, we can also check the uh, switch the orientation here and we go landscape mode and see how it looks there yeah so this is a very common style let's take a look oh that's our old application we can x out of that let's take a look at the app and see how it looks give it about i don't know 30 hours all right it's working its way up oh okay this is the home fragment all right awesome so this is using fragments and we're going to get into that soon uh, we've been talking about activities up to this point, and activities are essentially the, the entire page, but it looks like each one of these tabs shows a new fragment, which you can kind of think of as a, a fragment of a, an activity or a piece of an activity that you can reuse. So maybe this part of the screen is a fragment, and if you want to see what this looks like in the visual editor, you can go over here, and you can see inside of the component tree we have this nav host fragment, which takes up this portion of the screen, whatever's inside of the, the blue there. So cool, and you can see those fragments over in the, uh, in the layouts. We have the fragment dashboard, the fragment home, and the fragment notifications. And you can go inside of these uh, to see what they look like, which in this case, they really don't have anything at all. So <laughs> yeah, but we'll get into all the, the fragments and stuff pretty soon. I just wanted to show you guys how to create a tabbed system um, and yeah that that's pretty much it so the next episode we're going to start working with this application and building some stuff out and we're going to continue our discussion on activities and passing data between them but pretty soon we'll transition into fragments because we need to learn about those as well so thanks stay tuned and be sure to subscribe